Hello my dear students, I hope you are enjoying this course on Vector Calculus. So in this video we are going to talk about a very important topic which is arc length parameter. So what is arc length? The name tells you itself that it is the length of the arc, right? So what we are talking about here is, suppose you have a curve which is xt, so this is with the parameter, so t is the parameter here, so we are saying that our curve is uh, you know defined by the parameter t so you have x of t1 here x of t2 here and so on for example if you have a circle you can say that your circle is a, a curve whose parameter is theta so you have a circle r cos theta r sin theta right and theta is your parameter which is uh, belonging to the set 0 to 2 pi so theta is the parameter here right so you are saying that when theta is 0 when theta is 0 you have x 0 as r comma 0 so you are here right and then you keep on tracing then when theta is pi by 2 you are here and so on theta is pi here and theta is 3 pi by 2 here and theta is 2 pi again here right so this is the parameter right now we want to change this parameter this is you see this is some kind of external parameter right so we want something which is internal to the curve so we will be doing that in the next video in this video we'll just look at the uh, new parameter at a new parameter which we are calling as arc length parameter so let us see what is arc length parameter suppose you have a curve let xt be a c1 curve i told you what is a c1 curve that there are no corners there are no corners in our curve right okay so let xt be a c1 curve you fix a point p fix a point p not on the curve suppose i fix this point p not on the curve and also you assume that in the beginning you assume that t is your parameter right t is a parameter which is giving us the trace of the curve xt right okay fix a point p naught let p naught corresponds to xa so it means that corresponding to the parameter t is equal to a we are getting the point p naught now for any point p on the curve suppose this is a point p which is the general point the distance between p naught and p what will be that we, we know how to calculate right from the last video so we know that this can be calculated integration from a to t because this is x of a and this is x of t so you are going from the parameter t is equal to a to t equal to t a to t x prime t modulus dt right so this is what we have done in the last video that this is how you can calculate your uh, this uh, length and you can also because uh, you have limits in terms of t so if you want to change this dummy variable you can change so that there is no confusion so let me change this dummy variable i am calling it as tau and this is d tau right so distance between p naught and p you calculate right so this distance we call it as s of t right so this will be our arc length parameter this is my arc length parameter this is my arc length parameter so what is uh, 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 an arc length parameter that i am fixing a point on the curve then for any general point i am taking the distance from that fixed point that is my arc length parameter okay so this is what uh, is arc length parameter and we'll see that now we claim that most of the times so basically what you get from here you get that there is some s in terms of t uh, so you have s as a function of t so we'll see that most of the times this equation from this equation from this equation we will be able to we will be able to write t in terms of s 
okay so that will be now now suppose i uh, for example if i have this curve r cos t comma r sin t this is my parametric form of the curve t is the parameter and suppose i know the relation between t and s suppose t is equal st is say t square so i can write t is equal to square root of s and then my parameter i can change it to new parameter cos of square root of s r sin of square root of s so do you understand so what we are doing here we'll calculate our st and then from that equation you will get your t in terms of s and then you will change your parameter what is the usefulness of this here you see t was an external parameter we didn't know what t actually is uh, telling you but in this case we know that this s is the distance of the point from a fixed point on the curve so th we'll see that it is very it is going to be very useful in vector calculus that if you you re represent your curve in terms of the intrinsic parameter which is the arc length parameter so this is an intrinsic parameter it means that from the curve itself you will be able to compute this parameter right so i i'll do one example so that we understand so we have uh, this is not a question this is just an example so look at this helix if you look at the helix we know the curve of the helix is xt is equal to a cos t a sin t comma bt so i can find out i want to change the parameter t change the parameter t to s which is arc length parameter so if somebody asks you that you have to change it into arc length parameter then point p not has to be fixed with p not equal to x of 0 which is a cos of 0 a sin of 0 b into 0 so that is a comma 0 comma 0 so this is the starting point so i know that st will be integration from a to t of modulus of x prime tau d tau now if you look at x prime here uh, x is here so i can calculate my x prime t that will be minus a sin t a cos t and then you have a b so you can put it here so you'll get square root of a square sin square t plus a square cos square t plus b square d tau from a to t right and a here is zero because you are starting from zero right so zero so you get this is my s dash t sorry not s dash t this is my s of t okay so you get this you can simplify this is a a square plus b square square root that is a constant that will come out okay let me write down completely zero to t s of t equal to this so your s of t becomes a square plus b square times t minus 0 so you have s in terms of t now you can get t in terms of s that will be square root a s upon square root of a square plus b square so we can write therefore we can rewrite rewrite our equation uh, uh, equation of the curve equation of the curve as a cos of it was t so you write s upon square root of a square plus b square comma b sin of s upon square root of a square plus b square then comma this was also a and then b t t is s upon square root of a square plus b square so you rewrite your curve the helix and you know that what is this s s is the distance from the point a comma 0 comma 0 so wherever you are if i am here i can just calculate this distance then using this formula i know the uh, points name because s if i calculate then i can use it to find what is this point right so you don't need any external parameter right but let me let me give you another example 
सपोज यू हैव दिस कर्व x t इज इक्वल टू t कॉमा स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ 2 ओवर 2 t स्क्वायर 1 ओवर 3 t क्यूब एंड द पॉइंट इज p नॉट इज 0 कॉमा 0 कॉमा 0 p नॉट इज x ऑफ 0 व्हिच इज 0 कॉमा 0 कॉमा 0 देयरफॉर योर st विल बी इंटीग्रेशन फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट 0 टू t ऑफ x प्राइम t मॉडुलस d tau लाइक लाइक दिस now if you find out x prime t you'll get you see i'm using vector calculus here so i i know how to differentiate a vector just differentiate the components so you're going to get 1 comma square root of 2t comma this will be a t square so this will become 0 to t square root of 1 plus 2t square plus t raised to power 4 d tau this is also tau Okay, so you'll get 0 to t 1 plus tau square square d tau. So that would be 0 to t 1 plus tau square d tau. Now you can integrate that would be t plus t cube by 3. So this is your s. Right? So this is your s. Now can you write t in terms of s? You have to write you have to write t in terms of s okay so that can be done but this is a cubic equation that you have to solve for it's not that easy okay so these are the problems which we can face and sometimes okay so note that it's not some sometimes it's not easy to find t in terms of s Although here it is possible, you can actually invert it, right? But I'll give you another example where you will not be able to do it at all. So if you have, suppose, uh, this is my curve. X of t is t comma t square comma t cube. Then x prime t is going to be 1 comma 2t comma 3t square. Then my x prime t modulus is going to be 1 plus 4t square plus 9t raised to power 4. Therefore, s of t is going to be p naught is same x of 0. 0 to t 1 plus 4 tau square plus 9 tau raised to power 4 d tau. Now you see it can be shown that this integration is not possible. Like you don't have although this function is integrable but you don't have we don't have a closed form you know from uh, like answer here so although we know that this is going to be our intrinsic parameter but uh, we are not able to write what that exactly it so so you do you are not able to get s in terms of t then you will not be able to separate t in terms of s okay so it means that for every curve it is not possible that we can use this uh, if if you are given some intrinsic uh, some some parameterization of the curve and you want to change it to arc length parameter so sometimes it is possible and sometimes it is not possible okay so this is an important concept students so you have to understand it carefully if you have any doubts please write in the comment box please share this video subscribe to this channel and support my channel happy learning